Well, Katie Taylor, what an absolute privilege and honour, as always, to, to have some time to catch up with you. We're here for a launch press conference for the rematch. It feels like it wasn't long ago we were here last time. Your name is on the right side of the card on, on the big backdrop in the main room. I think as far as I'm aware, that might be the first time in your professional career. I just wonder how on earth that feels and how that looks for you. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't make a difference to me whether my name is on the right-hand side or, or the left-hand side or whether I'm seen as a favourite or the underdog. Um, my mindset is still exactly the same. I train to win and I'm stepping in, into the ring uh, on November 25th um, as confident as ever that if I perform to my ability, I will win. And so I'm, I'm just excited for, for the rematch. I'm very, very grateful that I have a chance to have a rematch, that every fighter has this opportunity. And so I'm very, very grateful. I know after every fight, you've told us before, you always go and, and spend some time with your family and with your grandmother, who's your biggest supporter as well. For the first time in the wake of the feat, Katie, with your family, was that experience even more special for you, do you think, in a lot of ways? And if so, why perhaps? Yeah, I think it's always great to be surrounded by people who love you, uh, regardless of whether, whether you win or lose. Um, I spent a couple of weeks at home after the last fight, which is what I always do. Um, but it's just great to be around family. And um, it's obviously um, a different kind of atmosphere after a loss. It's, uh, I was extremely disappointed, but... I never ever dwell there. I never relive those emotions. I'm, I've been here before, not as, not uh, as a pro, but at, at the elite amateur level where, uh, where I, I have lost, and I know how to make the necessary adjustments. I know how to come back stronger, and um, I'm just excited to have a chance to, to be able to do that this time around. I know you're not always a massive fan of watching yourself back, if if that's in documentaries or in interviews or films or fights even. Have you watched this one back? And if so, how do you feel looking back at your performance now? Um, yeah, I mean, I think uh, there's obviously no complaints about the decision. I think uh, I just left the early rounds a bit too subjective and I think I was definitely a lot sharper and stronger in all the exchanges. I just didn't let my hands go as much in the in the earlier rounds, um, which cost me the fight, I think. But, um, but it was a great fight. The atmosphere was amazing, but um, that doesn't matter because I lost. <laughs> but it's just uh, either way to, to have a chance to bring a big time boxer back to to Ireland was, was very, very special. Even though the night didn't go the Irish way, it was still an amazing night packed with entertaining fights and we have a chance to do this again in, in a few months' time. I think, Katie, certainly in the media, the Irish media, and because of how much your fans adore you as well, people almost made excuses for you after, after the first fight about was the ring walk too long? Did you spend too much time on the ramp? Did you too mu do too much media in, in the build-up in fight week? Truly, though, sitting here today, there was no excuses. Was there from, from your perspective? No, I don't think so. I think I felt fairly relaxed during fight week, to be honest. And uh, I don't think fight week is always a busy week anyway, uh, regardless of, of where the fight is or who I'm fighting. It's always a busy week. So I can't say that that fight week was any different this time around. But uh, I felt fine going into the ring. I just, uh, um, yeah, I just got uh, probably just outworked, I suppose. But it's OK. I have a chance to, to rectify things and... Um, and like I said, I'm very, very grateful that I actually have a chance to go again. I have a second chance here to turn the last disappointment into a great victory. And uh, that's a fantastic opportunity. You have that chance to rectify it on exactly the same terms at Super Lightweight once again. What does that say about your mindset and why was that so important to you as well? Um, yeah, I mean, I don't think anything would have made a sense to you otherwise. Uh, Regardless, like I, I just wanted to Chantal Cameron again. That's the only fight that that, that made sense to me, uh, at the same weight and the the same terms. Like I said, um, the last fight was a phenomenal fight, and um, we have a chance to do this again. I just want to be involved in the biggest fights of female boxing, and um, that's that's always been my goal. And so, uh, yeah, this is a just this is just amazing. I have a chance to go again and to become a two weight undisputed champion. Chantelle's next door. I was just sitting in there listening to her round table with the journalists. And as you can imagine, she's full of confidence that she's going to win in, in more convincing fashion that time. But is there part of you, Katie, that, that welcomes that energy? Is it a little wry smile appears on your face there? Yeah, I mean, uh, I am sure she is going to be uh, as confident as ever as I am. I, I'm as confident as ever as well. That if I perform to my ability, I will win regardless of who's on the other side of the ring. Um, I'm just, uh, I just can't wait to step in there. And um, um, again, it's going to be a huge fight. It's going to be uh, this fight matters for my career, obviously. 
I think every fight's always the most important fight, but um, this fight, fight definitely does matter. And uh, um, I'm just excited to, I think a win will, it will even increase my legacy. It certainly will. And in terms of the pressures, like you say, they're there for every fight. And I think everyone's probably going to ask you today, how damning would it, would a, another loss to Chantel Cameron be? In that, in your mind, is that factoring into why the, the fires are so strong in your belly heading into November 25th? Um, I think uh, there's pressure in every single fight. I don't think this fight is any different. I think uh, the best attitude for every fighter is that the next fight is always the most important fight, regardless of uh, what's on the line. So this fight's important, just like the last fight was important, and the one before that, and the one before that. So every fight is a, is, uh, is a must-win fight. And so my mindset is completely the same. Uh, going into this fight, I always train to win. I'm willing to push myself to the brink to do that. I'm not. I have no problem being in the trenches. And um, yeah, I mean, may, may the best person win. But I, I'm very, very confident that I'll, that I'll become a victorious. When we asked Chantel for a prediction, she she did say quite bluntly she feels like you can't hurt her over ten rounds. And you know she feels like although the respect's there out of the ring, there's no respect inside the ropes is how she described it for us. In your mind, Katie, your response to that and, and truly how you're visualising yourself rewriting the script as well? Uh, I'm not really, uh, you know, I, I don't like to have a verbal battle or whatever, but uh, we're obviously going to see a fight night. I'm going to train as hard as I can like she is and we'll see who comes out on top. Um, I don't believe she has the ability to hurt, to hurt me either, so we both have that mindset stepping into the ring. Um, we both share 10 rounds together now um, in the last fight, and um, like I said, we'll, we'll see what happens, but um, I'm very, very confident, and so is she. That's what makes uh, great fights. I do want to ask you one question about your faith. We always speak about it, about how important it is to you, and I know there's always been certain scriptures that you've recited and have given you a lot of strength in camp and on fight night. Has there been some new scriptures, perhaps, that you've read, maybe in the wake of defeat and this new situation you find yourself in, that new new parts of, of the Bible you've been able to find new strength from that perhaps you hadn't necessarily found before? Um, I wouldn't say um, I've, I've found new, new scriptures. I'm always, uh, I, I always want to grow deeper and deeper with, with God. I, I, I don't know where I'd be without him, but, um, you know, as a Christian, I think... Uh, it doesn't mean that life's going to go a rosy for you neither, but as a Christian, I think uh, resurrection is built into my mindset, it's in my DNA. And I always feel like, like Jesus, who is a resurrected king, can resurrect me. And uh, I have no, I, I'm very, very confident that's going to happen this, this night. And um, I'm very grateful for the opportunity. I feel very blessed to be in this position. And um, I'm using the. Uh, all my my talent, the gift to glorify and honor Jesus, and I think that's that to me gives me the, the biggest joy. With God by your side, you also need the people of Ireland as well to to come out. They came out in, in their thousands, and it was so special, wasn't it, back in May? But what, what's your message to them to to get behind you once again and, and roll you onto victory? Yeah, I think the last night was absolutely so special. Uh, even though it didn't go my way, uh, the Irish way it was still an amazing night. And I think uh, every time we bring big time boxing back. Um, to Ireland, uh, it embeds boxing back into our culture again, where it belongs. Boxing belongs at the forefront of Irish sport. It's a, it's our most successful sport, and we have a chance to do this again. And uh, I'm just so grateful for all the support, and um, it's going to be another historic night. And the new, I suppose, there are three words once yeah. again that are very important to you. Absolutely, and the new. Here we here we go again, and um, yeah, history is in the making. The best is yet to come. Absolutely. <laughs> that made me say it. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favourite line, Kay. Uh, always an absolute pleasure. Thanks so much for your time. Stay healthy in camp and we look forward to seeing you fight week. Thanks so much. Thanks so much.